What's happening? So today, 56 Chevy wagon. Big block Chevy, you can't go wrong with it. I've pulled a bunch of the junk out of the archives because I've been kind of collecting 56 stuff uh, for a while now. I still have some stuff left over. This is kind of the main things. Um, I think I'm missing one turn signal lens and stuff. But I do have that 56 uh, post, which I might go rob a few parts off of, not going to lie. And I am for sure missing a comb headlight kind of ring. I only have the one. I know I only have the one. So I will track another one of those. I got hood chrome. I got extra buckets for the wiring stuff. I think I put, when I put this thing together, I took it all apart. I think I put in the non-rusty ones, but I don't know if there's any wiring in them. Oh yeah, there's plugs in. Look at that. Solid. So that's mint. Uh, so yeah, the hood trim, I have the piece that goes across here. I actually found this I just had. This didn't even come on a car. I had this. I don't even know. It's got a bend in it. I assume it's for a hood. I don't know. 55, 6, 7 or whatever. All different or whatever. But I like that'll fit. So today we're going to pretty this thing up. You guys have been all over me about the damn tail lights. I have brand new ones. Look at that. In the package. GM restoration part. So we'll put a couple of those on. Yeah. That make you guys happy? Um, it has reverse lace lenses and I do have a spare if one's cracked. I do have one front <coughs> spare. And a couple of rings. I don't have any headlights, so I gotta get those tomorrow. And oh, I found this chrome steering column thing. I think I might put a tilt column in this thing. Anyways, of course this is all held in with like quarter inch studs, which are all lost, missing, whatever. Same with this front eyebrow. Has to do the same thing. This is how nice this one is. You look goofy on the car. The car never had it. This is when I tracked down. So I'm gonna spend my life zipping some one inch studs. I'll put them in the trim. I'll put them in here. And I wanna first off, let's make this hood look cool. Put the, make the hood look cool, put it on. And just double check, see what I got with the lights. The wiring's in the lights, that's easy, because there's only three wires, they work all the time. And I have one, oh, I have one lens, so I'm good for uh, for turn signal stuff. We've got one in there. This one's, this one's roached right out, but I have the other one. So I should be able to get a fair bit together, make it look like a car, put some lights in it. The tail lights, I just want to hang on there. I do have the wiring. This one's missing the socket altogether, as I recall. What the? Yeah, it's missing it, but this one had one. So I have to do some little tracking down. I'll start putting stuff together. I have all the wiring run, it's hanging down. I want to get the wiring dealt with inside the car, uh, put it away a little bit. I mean, there's very little wiring in this car. I want to put a proper ignition switch in. We've got to wire up some power to the. Uh, uh, heater fan, the headlight switch, like little things like that. Uh, but we'll get going on that. I like to start with the key, and then under hood, there's no wiring in the harness for it. But I have the wire charging system, uh, battery, you know, heavy lug and all that there. So I'll get that all taken care of. But then if that works, then it'll be charging. We hook up the electric fan. Yeah, I sure made a mess of this thing for it all being clean and new. Anyways, I'm gonna start putting studs and uh, all those things and we'll make it look pretty. So I got the, the bumper piece on, a little list. This is all broken, I gotta fix that. Look how fancy this piece looks. It's clearly off a nicer car. I changed the one headlight uh, piece. Oh, that's the other one. This thing was so schmangled. <laughs> Useless. So I got that. Um, I put the one trim ring on for the headlight just so I have it. So I got to track down one of those. I want to get a couple headlights for it, just put them in. But this thing's really coming along. Now, 
we haven't touched this front uh Look at the dirt on that. A uh, little valence. I think I want to put the bumper on. So before I do that, I was going to do the old uh, paint and sand. I'm going to go right over the dirt. And then we'll just kind of scuff her up. Do a little polish so it looks like something because the bumper should hide most of this. And I have this little bit of paint left and so might as well use it. I think it'll look wicked. That's my thoughts. What do you think? Bumper or no bumper? What do you think, babe? I don't know. What's the difference? Well, one is a bumper. Isn't this the bumper? This, isn't that bumpy? What? Well, just this thing that you're painting. That's not the bumper? No, the bumper's right there. The bumper. Big chrome bumper. Oh. I don't, I don't like the way a bumper looks on a 55 or 6. I mean, because it looks gassery without the, without a bumper. Yeah. Is it really a gas or a station wagon with a giant motor in it? But uh, yeah, so we're gonna let this dry. We'll give her a sand, and then we'll, uh, we'll hang that bumper on there. In the meantime, I'm gonna just put the tail lights together just so it looks like a car. Because I think this thing's gonna be going outside again in the next couple days when the uh, Dodge motor shows up. I was just like it the most. The more we can look at, like, uh, make it look like a car, the less the neighbors are gonna complain. Accurate. But it looks like a wicked car now. The hood looks dope, eh? It looks great. You did a good job. Scene. I gave you a compliment. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> As we were waiting on the uh, the old valence balance to dry, uh, I'm gonna try putting the bumper on. Oh yeah, this thing was twisted. We may only use this part. And anyway, I put on my brand new lenses. I gotta say, I think 56 Chevy have the most classic uh, lens to them. Oh, this one's broken. Yeah, the other one. Uh, you know, the 57s, I don't like. They're low and they're very small. They're hard to see. I always worry I'm going to get uh, rear-ended. The 55s are really cool uh, for a hot rod. But this is so... It's like Cadillac-y, and the way, I mean, 55 has the filler in the quarter panel, which I think is ugly. 57 is kind of cool, has that little whatever, but I mean, the one year right there, and that's, that's cool stuff. I wish they did stuff like that today, like that's, that's just awesome. Anyways, I'm going to get, uh, we're going to sand up the front, we'll suffer, put that bumper on, we've already gotten kind of late, uh, unfortunately putting these headlights and all that, and everything was rusted, and I was torch and stuff off camera heating it all up i absolutely love the way this looks other than this looks terrible but i'll scuff that up i gotta get headlights and i gotta track down a trim ring that's top freaking priority because then it'll look like a a real car and it's a matter of hooking up some wires i'm gonna see if i have to order a bunch of uh sockets and stuff like that i might as well order a few new ones see if amazon has anything headlights and taillights are something i really believe in believe it or not so we'll get on that i've tracked down a windshield I really don't want to do it, I'm telling you, but I got to. Once you get it wired up, short list. All right, see you guys in a bit. You know, this video has really turned into, uh, let's just make this thing look pretty and who cares what works. So I'm going to roll it, hang the bumper, make it look pretty. So then it'll actually look like a car. I think that's all the trim I got to put on this thing. Anyways, I'm just going to torch this out. We'll heat it up, see if I can hit it with the impact which i didn't bring over hang on all right like i was saying it's looking pretty i'm just gonna heat this up and take these bolts out because odds are they're not gonna come out easy We're not even going to mess with this one, we're just going to torch it.
hot. All right, let that cool off a little bit. We'll slam her on. Well, guys, well, let's see. I love it. I didn't think I'd be a big front bumper guy, but I, I kind of dig it. Well, what do you guys think? Now, the problem is, I yammered on on this video, putting all the trim and stuff like that on, doing the fun things, when I should have started putting the wiring in. I didn't touch that wiring. I feel like I got enough footage here that I'll make either a short video, or I'll start doing wiring tomorrow and make a really long video. I'm busy tomorrow night. Look at how hammered up these braces were. Man. Now, I do have another 56 front bumper off that sedan. I don't know if it's any better or not. I'm touching the shit. I'll take a look at it. God, that looks good. You know it's good when I buy brand new lenses. So, I think that's... Honestly, I think I'm going to leave it. It was a long night. I'll edit this video up. It'll be a good kind of quick one to put out there, making the car look nice. But, jeez, look at that. Hunk. And then we'll get in the wiring maybe next time, or never at all, because I hate doing that. Man, does this thing look good. Give me a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the bumper. And I'm an idiot. I thought I had uh, the buckets for these. I can't find any. I must use the last set on uh, on Danny's car. So I either got to make out to rob some parts off that sedan, or they're on eBay for 49 bucks a side, but that was the whole unit. I'm going to buy just the bucket, which would be nice, because... 40 bucks for new buckets wouldn't be too bad. Then I need the one trim ring, and I can... This thing is done. Trim-wise, on the outside, it looks like a car. No one can complain. Uh, hang a plate on it, and we're golden. Then all we got to do is wiring. Ooh. And I think, I think I'm going to get a column. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are if you try five guys, but there's a direct fit try five column. It was, uh, I think it was 300 bucks. You put it in, it'll have its uh, tilt, obviously canceling turn signal which is kind of nice these ones don't have and it'll just look good they do sell kind of universal hot rod ones for a little bit less but i don't know it'll it looks the exact same which i kind of like so i think i'm going to pull the trigger on that thing what's a few hours overtime on a saturday right anyways thanks for watching leave a comment and i'll see you guys on the next one bye